Epilepsy affects more than 50 million people worldwide. In a 2016 survey, many people reported that the worst aspect of the epilepsy is the unpredictability of seizures. Not knowing when a seizure will happen can be, de be debilitating and dangerous. For example, risk of convulsions or loss of consciousness can make everyday activities unsafe. The ability to provide a warning of impending seizures has the potential to alleviate the risk. In 2013, the NeuroVista clinical trial proved that seizure prediction is indeed feasible. Importantly, the NeuroVista study provided a huge data set of intracranial EEG recordings over one to three years from 15 patients containing over 10,000 seizures. In this latest paper, we have used the NeuroVista database to advance the field of seizure prediction. Our major contribution is the formulation of a probabilistic framework for forecasting seizures. Our probabilistic framework tackles the problem of seizure prediction in a fundamentally new way that is different from traditional seizure prediction. In forecasting, patients are provided with information about the current seizure likelihood rather than a categorical statement about whether or not they will have a seizure. Forecasting seizures is intuitively understood by considering the weather app on your smartphone. Each morning it reports a probability of rain. If the probability is high enough, say 80%, you decide to bring an umbrella to work. Two times out of 10, you won't need the umbrella, but the main point is the probability forecast should be trustworthy. Our research aims to deliver a trustworthy seizure forecast. Our forecasting models capture a continuum of seizure probability rather than making a binary decision. This means we have a whole new set of tools to analyse algorithm performance. Consider this plot showing a perfect forecast. The x-axis shows the forecasted seizure probability and the y-axis shows the actual rate of seizures. When our forecast outputs a 50% probability of seizure, it may seem no better than tossing a coin. However, we know that seizures are rare events and a 50% forecast could be very significant. Imagine being told there was a 50% chance of rain in the desert. Within our framework, models need to be calibrated to an individual's baseline seizure rate. For example, if you have a seizure in one out of every 100 epochs of the data, then your seizure baseline rate is 1%. With this information, we could make an accurate but mostly useless forecasting algorithm that simply states at any given time you will have a 1% chance of seizure. To make models useful, forecasting curves must be calibrated so that the chance forecast reflects the patient's baseline seizure rate. When the forecast is the same as the baseline rate, it is considered uncertain. Forecasts that are above or below this baseline rate are used to advise patients of their heightened or decreased seizure risk. The nuances of probabilistic forecasting provide more information for patients to manage their epilepsy. Crucially, treating forecasts as probabilities enables models to be much more flexible. Models can include prior knowledge that adjust the assessment of seizure likelihood. For example, circadian rhythms are universal factors that modulate our brain's activity. In our previous work, we demonstrated that seizure occurrences are also strongly influenced by time of day, but are highly patient specific. We speculated that these circadian rhythms could be used to improve forecasting models. We tested this conjecture in the, in the current study with a comparison between the new framework and the original 2013 NeuroVista trial. We compared forecasting algorithms using probabilistic metrics. Metrics such as the Brier score enable the full range of the probabilistic forecast to be evaluated, rather than setting a single threshold and evaluating a binary prediction. We found that including time of day in seizure forecasting algorithms improved performance for the majority of patients. In a simulated clinical use case, forecasting algorithms alerted patients to between 50 and 90% of seizures. Patients were also informed about times of safety or low seizure risk when they could be confident no seizure would happen. Using circadian information increased the amount of time patients could be assured of safety. This study demonstrates the probabilistic framework can advance the field of seizure prediction. We used features from the original NeuroVista trial in order to provide a comparison. We did not attempt to optimise the signal features. Therefore, we believe further gains can still be achieved. Furthermore, using comprehensive behavioural data may also improve results by increasing the information contained in the prior probabilities. Eventually, seizure forecasting models will provide patients with a measure of their seizure likelihood. This information greatly reduces the everyday risk faced by people with epilepsy in ways that can be life-changing.